The Workers' Party has introduced its second batch of four candidates for the May 7 general election. Three of them will be contesting for the first time. The party is set to field 23 candidates in four SMCs and four GRCs for the coming polls. The reason why I joined the Workers' Party and the opposition cause is because I was very concerned with the state of our political system as it currently stands. Uh, the parliamentary system of government is based on a system of checks and balances. And I felt that there was a profound imbalance in how few safeguards there are uh, to check on the ruling party. Uh, I have experience in working in the private sector, the public sector, and the people relation. And the IOS, I travel in and outside of Singapore. So with my diverse background, understanding how an effective service organization should be run to serve the people. So I believe with my background, I can add value to the system. I have served my NS in the Singapore Police Force as a police inspector after my pre-education in Hua Chong Junior College. I'm trained as an electrical engineer from NUS, a master's degree from the University of Strathclyde, and a PhD from University of South Australia. I believe very much in education, by the insurance. I mean, we can, have, we can build an expressway, we can build in big infrastructure, but without the people there to operate it, Singapore will not survive in 50 years' time. So I, I believe, you know, something is seriously wrong with our education system that really drives me to stand, to serve. Yao Xin Long has a track record. And his track record is 10 years. His loyalty to Singapore, his passion for Singapore, his contribution to the oppositional cause in itself is a track record for the past 10 years. Whether or not Yao Xin Long should be in the Workers' Party, it is his choice because he has a choice and he has taken that choice. And he believes that by taking that choice, the future of Singapore collectively, not on its own accord and on its own effort itself, can be only be better if, let's say, a group of like-minded Singaporeans decide to come together and do something for our country. And I sincerely believe in that. Let the track record speak for itself. Uh, I have been working with young people for over 15 years and I know their problems, their issues and I'm genuinely interested in serving the people. Uh, at my age, I'm 48. Uh, I understand the plight of people of my age group who are going to retire soon. I can connect with people of my age and this is a big age group. Uh, what I mean is there's a big group of people of my age with the same problems. I understand the problems. I can listen to them. I listen to them intently, pay attention to their problems, bring it up in parliament, and therefore I think I deserve to be voted in. The Workers' Party has confirmed that it will contest in four group representation constituencies. Nee Soon, Momeng Kalang, Aljunit, and East Coast. And four single-member constituencies, Sengkang West, Aukang, Pongol East, and Ju Chiet. During the question and answer session, Workers' Party Secretary General Lao Tia Kiang responded to questions about National Development Minister Ma Bao Tan's statement against the party's call for cheaper HDB flats. The Workers' Party is very clear. We find that the uh, HDB uh, flat prices is too high, especially on new flag. It will become a financial burden to future <coughs> Singaporeans. And we do not think that the government should, for the sake of keep on building a reserve, Mortgaging the future of Singaporeans and by, you know, uh, uh, by inflicting such a financial burden on Singaporeans. If the logic is that whatever that we talk about, government collecting less is reading on the reserve, then I think everything that government does can also be constituting reading the reserve. Where does it end? We are not saying that we should uh, make use of reserve. We are not saying that we should not accumulate reserve. We are not saying that we should not save for raining day. We do. I think we should save for raining day. But the really question is what? How much is enough? And what is the trade off? You can save everything and make Singaporean poor if you want to. It's very simple. Put all the surplus into the reserve. So, what do you want, the government? What do Singaporean voters want? Workers' Party Chairman Sylvia Lim also responded to Law Minister K. Shamagan's comment on the party manifesto slogan and call to develop a first world parliament. 
We look at the First World Parliament as a parliament where every MP has a mandate from the ground with the same voting rights. And the opposition in parliament is able to function as a robust check on the government. We believe we are advocating a system which works for Singapore and is valid for Singaporeans. And as such, we do not look to any particular developed country's model uh, to go after. For more on the candidates' Q&A session, watch the following clips.